they brought this to me and they said, this guy is making like AR contact lenses and it's not just hype. They actually already exist. And yeah. I was like, let's, let's talk with them. So tell me about that. Man, there, there's like 50 layers to that question. We've got, this is a talk show, man. We've got time. What type of disciplines did you need to pull from to do AR contact lenses? Yeah. So like we have, you know, we have optometrists on staff, right. Who understand the human eye and contact lenses and how you fit. We have material scientists making materials. We have optics people. Uh, we make our own micro LED micro displays. So these are, you know, semiconductor optoelectronic device engineers. Um, we do our own chip design. So we need ASIC engineers, digital analog, mix, mix signal, RF. We've built our own radio uh, in the contact lens. So radio engineering, right? A lot of math in that. Firmware, software, user experience, app design. I mean, what am I, what am I missing out? Battery engineers. Um, yeah, like you need, you need all of these things and more. I'm sure I've left. Oh, motion tracking, algorithms, sensors. Um, yeah, you need, you need all of these things and more. Electromagnetics, antennas, right? Electromagnetics. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's the lens that actually goes into your eye like a contact lens. And then right. some other device that it's interacting with, correct? That's right. Yeah. So what, yeah what's so, the technology in the actual lens? That's at, What am I putting into my eye? That's right. So, so we, we can't take a whole mobile phone, let's say, and shrink it down into a contact lens. So we have to you have to divide up some of that functionality. So some functionality is in the contact lens and some functionality lives in the, in the accessory device. Uh, so the accessory device has more or less as much compute as you could want, right? And it has all of the interfaces to the cellular network, Wi-Fi, and so on. Those, those kinds of things are you know, really hard to shrink down small enough to get into the, into the contact lens. But the contact lens itself has... Uh, micro batteries to power the system along with a power management IC. So we've got uh, energy in the lens. It has a micro display, which emits light uh, through a tiny little micro optic. So this micro optic captures the light from the display and focuses it onto the retina. So uh, those are another couple of components that consist of what we call the, the projection system. Um, we have motion sensors in the eye, like an accelerometer, gyro, magnetometer that capture the motion of the eye, which is a really important part of stabilizing the images that you see in the real world. So we have motion sensors in the lens. Um, we have a, 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 a sensor hub, which connects to all of these different devices. And, and, um, and then we have a high-speed radio, which communicates the data into and out of the lens to the accessory device and from the accessory device. Right. So um, all of that is in there and uh, and and it implements all these functions. So, you know, at this point, uh, we can make real wireless AR contact lenses. Um, we did publish some pictures of, of Drew, our CEO, wearing our latest version of that system. The one I just the system I just described to you. Uh, I think we put those out in June or July, which was uh, you know pretty exciting. And, uh, you know, the, the system does work. Uh, it's still, it's still kind of in that bumpy bring up phase where we're still improving it, right? It hasn't hit steady state yet, but, uh, the system does work. It's quite amazing. So if I, I'm going to show that, share this real quick. So if I put this in my eye, the display looks like this. That is, uh, there's some other materials that we've put out, um, that capture it, uh, maybe even more precisely because I believe they were actually filmed looking through the lens, but oh, really? uh, what, yeah, what you see here is very much on point, right? Of, so of it's going to be similar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the, what she's doing there with the ropes and what she sees, like that's totally on point. Dude, that is so neat. And so how long do these batteries last? So uh, for first product, our target is, is two hours, uh, what we call two hours of continuous use. Um, but if you think about how people use these digital systems, all of our digital systems, right? Your, your phone screen is not on continuously. It's on and off and on and off. Your watch is not on continuously. It's on and off, on and off, right? So if you were to add up all the on time throughout the day, our system would give you two hours of on time 
uh, duty cycle throughout the day. And we think that's a great starting point for this kind of product. Yeah, our, our vision here is not, um, is not that in the first product or even the second product, it's not about painting the world with AR content all of the time. It's about giving you the right information at the right time in an eyes up, hands free, no voice way, right? So when it's time to turn left, you, you get, you, you see it, right? You, you don't need to do anything. Um, uh, real-time translation is another really, really great one, right? So, you know, travel to somewhere and you're, you're in a, a foreign land and you don't speak the language. How come you can't have subtitles? Do you need subtitles on 100% of the time? Probably not, right? That might actually be annoying. But when you want them, you want them. Um, so, you know, it's about the right information at the right time, and not about painting the world with content all of the time. I think that view for our system, that view is one that that does come eventually kind of down the path, really merging the digital and the real together. But uh, our starting point, our belief is that is that simple at the right time is actually super powerful. Like, we, you know, we, I was just talking with uh, one of your teammates just before we started chatting, right? We were kind of talking about working out in the morning, getting up early and, and, uh, Man, one of the, I just I can't wait to take this thing out on a run, right? And just be able to see my heart rate and distance and speed, and not have to fumble or grip with any other device, right? Um, so yeah, right information at the right time. <laughs>